Well guys, it's the second catch this morning. The first one was a possum. This one, nice coyote. Caught in a one and a half blind set. Here's the trail. Here's the coyote. The proof's in the pudding, guys. These blind sets pay off. Just a one and a half blind set on a nice coyote. Not going anywhere. Here he is. First coyote of the season. Hopefully many more. So, he's dancing around. He, did, he was slaying down sleeping when I got here, guys. They don't even... They just, they're chewing. But anyways, just nice blind set trail going up into some cow pasture. Crossing the bottom. We'll get this one dispatched. Here's a better view on that coyote. He quit dancing around for his first sec, so just real happy with this catch this morning. Only checked a few sets in. All right, guys, so a lot of trappers, or people who aren't trappers think these traps are inhumane. I just had a conversation with my buddy at this catch, and uh, this coon's been there all night, and he's just balled up because it's a, a frosty night, sleeping. Still don't want to wake up. So I'll go over there, nudge him, wake him up. That's the first coon of the day. We've got a coon, a possum, and a coyote so far. Well, the flip flip side of bringing my buddy Possum King with me is uh, catching lots of possums. He's not here today, but appreciate the good luck, bud. Anyways, uh, this will be two possums, a coon, and a coyote so far today. Blind set, one and a half coming out of a culvert. So we'll get this one dispatched and keep on. Been a slow day since the coyote, but here we got another raccoon and a one and a half blind set bridger. Nice big boar coon. You can tell by that face. So we'll get this one dispatched. Keep on the line. Rolling slow this morning, but we're catching, so that's all that matters, huh? You know, you don't always go get what you're going after. Got us a red squirrel here. That's all right. I can be supper then. But uh, nonetheless, caught that one in a 160. So this right here is where we caught that double on raccoon yesterday. One of the 220s there. And we have another raccoon there today on that other one down. And we had a coon across the road yesterday. So we had three here yesterday, one today, and a rabbit on the other side. So we'll get this reset and I'll show you the coon. Well, and here it is, guys. Uh, raccoon number three today, caught right behind the neck like we wanted. Probably not going to reset that one because we still got two sets working on the other side and a set here. We're going to start shifting this line for the tournament. So that'll be what I'm working on today after I check. But we've already taken four raccoons off this one trail too. So, Well guys, so that's the conclusion of episode two. Uh, day two check was not great at all. So far we've only taken uh, 21 raccoon, uh, three skunk one coyote and a couple odd and end things and a bunch of possums so we're gonna go ahead and lick our wounds and move on uh, i'm gonna pull a good portion of the line today we're gonna move to a new territory um, i spoke with my good friend dale billingsley and uh, you know i haven't caught a sow yet and i've caught very few very very few small coon uh, dale said hey you've got distemper you gotta move to a new area i agree completely um, so, going to pull a good portion of the line today. We'll leave our snares out for the Predators, and uh, we'll get ready for this tournament coming this weekend. But uh, we'll, we'll have some more uh, episodes and footage this week, guys. We're still going to catch all week long. Just won't be as much until the tournament this coming weekend. So, appreciate you guys. Hang with us. Let's get going.